Emily Blunt has ditched the high heel Pradas, the Victorian corset, and the fishing pole to go all out in the time-looping action thriller Edge of Tomorrow. She stars as a futuristic warrior battling aliens called Mimics with the help of co-star Tom Cruise. He plays a soldier who gets trapped living and dying the same day over and over again. Get your weapon and get in the helicopter, Kate. There's a Mimic, Barry, 20 yards away. Only one of us ever makes it. Get in. The only thing we haven't tried is a version where you walk away. Just go back to the farmhouse. I'm a soldier. I volunteered. I'm not walking away. You die here. Right here. I can't save you. Why does it matter what happens to me? I wish I didn't know you. But I do. That's dreamy. <laughs> We're so happy to have Emily with us this morning. Thank you. That was a moment there. I it felt was the a moment. sexual tension in the I room. I know, I know. It's a very <laughs> unconventional love story in a way. I kind of kicked Tom Cruise's butt for most of the film and then I like he ends up liking story. it. Yeah. <laughs> now this entire movie is quite a departure for you. You're yeah. taking off your English bonnet. Yes, and the corset. <laughs> and stepping off. into what they call an exosuit. It's this really heavily armored metallic suit and they're supposed to enhance a soldier's capabilities in real life it kind of hindered you <laughs> and to star alongside mr. action hero himself no, Tom Cruise. no what was he like to work with well he's heaven really times. you know he's just so sweet and generous and and such a pro at this stuff and he was so emboldening and encouraging you know, and I definitely wanted to do all my own stunts because he kind of does all of his stunts, so. So you kind of had to. Yeah, I don't want him to be the only one showing off. I gotta do <laughs> some of them. <laughs> you nearly broke your nose, I, I did, understand? it's not even a great story. I smashed myself in the face with the butt of my own sword. You know, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> You're a busy, busy woman. You're a new mom. Yes. I love the picture that your Thank husband, John, you. tweeted out with a, an important message. But yes. Hazel, how is motherhood? I, I, what, what, what Extreme highs, uh, not a lot of sleep, not but it's all worth sleep, it. Not a lot of sleep, but it's worth it because she's just so cute. She is adorable. And I do love that we were sort of in control of posting the picture of her because I don't like the idea of there being a price tag on my child's head. Yes. You know, and so I just thought it would be better if we controlled it. Yes. Any favorite moment so far with little Hazel? I mean, pretty much everything. Bath time's kind of the best thing Aww. ever. I have baby. Where they look right like now. little, um, they look like little Buddhas in there. You, know, you, fully, you see the full kind of rolls of flesh, and it's so it's cute. great. Yeah. All right, we have a lightning round. Oh, we're, good. We're ask My you to favorite. Participate in. So it's just whatever you think. First thing that comes to your mind, just say it. As long okay. as it's TV friendly. If you could be invisible for a day, what would you do? I would probably. Mm, what would I do? Well, I'd like to kind of get in on a conversation I shouldn't be in on, like maybe something in the White House. Last thing you purchased? The last thing I purchased was, it was a Snickers bar actually. That was the last thing I bought. Coffee or tea? Coffee now, it used to be tea and now it's coffee. Now that I have a baby, it, it's, it's become coffee. <laughs> you gotta go for the stronger stuff. Yeah. Heels or flats? Flats, flats. <laughs> Emily Blunt, thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much.